Vera UI7 Geofence Setup. Before we get on with the setup of the Geofence, I'd like to talk a little bit about what a Geofence is and what it does. A Geofence is basically an electronic fence drawn around an area on a map. Now typically inside the map would be your home or business and inside that home or business would be your control system controlling your home or business. Now when you take a mobile device in or out of this geofence, it's going to tell the control system to do different things. Now in this case, uh, the control system will be changing modes. So if you go out of your geofence, it's going to change your mode from home to away. If you come back in the geofence, it's going to change your mode from away to home. Now when this happens, uh, it can trigger other things to happen like turning on and off your alarm, uh, unlocking and locking doors, which I don't recommend for security issues, turning on lights, turning off lights, make sure everything is turned off when you leave, um, the water, whatever you have hooked up to your control system. So this is a nice automatic way for your control system to enable events and change modes and trigger things when you leave your home and enter your home. Now the other thing that's really nice about it too is it can monitor multiple mobile devices. So if you and another person in your home come and go, let's say you go to work and someone else stays home during the day, it's not going to go into away mode until both of your mobile devices leave the geofence. So if you have three or four people hooked up, you can even have the kids um, you know, uh, control this uh, automatically, control this uh, the modes also with the geofence. So keep that in mind. It's a great, great feature to Vera. I really, really applaud them for adding this and getting it working correctly. So let's get on to the setup and hook it up for ourselves. Step one, install your Vera. Step two, set up and log into your Vera. You can use home.getvera.com or you can go to our website, 007systems.com, scroll to the bottom of any page, and there you'll see a link that will take you to the same place. Uh, click on that link and it'll take you to the portal where you will see two boxes. One is a, on the right is a box to log into your existing Vera. And the box on the left has a link in it that will take you to the portal which will let you set up a new Vera. Follow the instructions and set up your new Vera. Step three, please go through the setup wizard and set up your Vera with your personal account information. Don't forget to save this information because you will need it later. Step four, set up your Vera's geofence options. Okay, now that you've completed the wizard, you should have set up the, your controller with at least, at least one person's credentials, a username and a login. So now we're gonna set up the controller with the geofence options. So go ahead and, I did it again. <laughs> go ahead and click on the My Mode section right here in the middle and then click on that little arrow next to it and it'll take you to the My Mode section. Now these are the four modes for the unit right here, home, away, night, and vacation. And you can customize what the controller does when it goes into each of these modes. Now if you scroll down to the bottom of this area, you'll see the geofence section here and the two options for geofencing. Uh, you can set the house mode to go to home when at least one user is at home, and I recommend you checking that. You can also set the house mode to away when nobody is at home, and I recommend checking that. So make sure both of those options are checked. You can also adjust the adjustments here for the time it takes for the unit to change modes and the amount of time it takes for the unit to um, trip on a door, window, or motion. Uh, I think these are stock, so you can leave them just as, or you can change whatever you like. Go ahead and change those changes, whatever you like there, and go ahead and click the back button. Step five, set up your additional geofence accounts. If you're going to have more than one person use the geofence, this is where you would set those people's accounts up. If you're only going to have one person using this, then you can skip ahead to the next step. So now that we've created our account information for the one person and we've now set our geofence options, now we're gonna uh, set up the options for any additional people that might be using the geofence. So if it's just you, you can go on to the next, uh, the next step. But if it's more people than you, maybe a, a wife, kids, a roommate, something of that nature, you can set those up in the user and account info. So click the plus next to that 
and then go down to other users. Now this has already been set up with a uh, test person here, so you probably don't see any of these any people here if this is a brand new unit, or you might have already set up some additional people here with their own username and password. But if you haven't, go ahead and click Add User. Give the person a username and an email and a password and repeat the password. This orange bar here will tell you whether your password is very weak or a good password. Make sure it's a strong password because you don't want anyone gaining access to your system through these user credentials. And then go once you created that, go ahead and click the type of account for the person you just created above. If you don't know which type of account to create, go ahead and look at the very bottom here. There's a chart and it tells you what permissions they give each classification here for each account type. So you can pick uh, if it's someone you just want to be able to get notifications only, you would pick that. Or if you wanted to be an administrator, you would pick that and everything in between. So go ahead and check that out. Check that box and then go to the bottom and click Add User. Once you've done that, you've set up uh, one person. Go ahead and set up each additional person. Uh, if there's four people in your family that are going to be using the Geofence, you're going to be setting three additional people up here, plus the one you created at the beginning will give you the four, and those are your four people. Once you've done that, we can go to the next step. Step six, install the mobile app on all the devices that will use the Geofence. Go ahead and go to your app store. Go ahead and do a search for Vera, V-E-R-A. When you get that in there, you should see this Vera UI7 app, they call Vera Mobile, pop up. Go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, uh, you're going to be required to log in using those credentials we created earlier. Step 7. Log into your first mobile device with the very first account you created when you went through the wizard when you set up your Vera. Step eight, all right, let's set up the first mobile device. All right, go ahead and tap on menu, then down to geofences, and to make sure the geofencing active slider is on in green. Now you wanna make sure the two options below are checked. That will make sure the home goes into home and away when you both leave and enter the geofence. Step nine, setting up a geofence. Now go ahead and click Add New Geofence, and that will bring up a map. And then click on the dot in the top right, and then click Yes. Now that will bring up the Geofence options, and it usually provides an address and the Geofence name. Go ahead and erase that if you want, and put whatever name you like in there. I usually put Home. And then keep the radius at 100 meters. And then down below that are two options you want to make sure you have checked. Notify, and this is my home. And then save it. And you're done. You're ready to go. It's your new geofence. Now, if you get tired of the notify setting, you can turn that off. What that does is just bring up notifications on your phone when you enter and leave your geofence. If you get tired of it, go back in it, tap on it. You'll see the home. Tap on that, and you can uncheck the notify there. Save it again, and now it won't send you notifications when you enter and leave the geofence. Step 10. Now, this is an optional step. If you only have one device you're using for your geofence, you don't need to do this step. But if you have more mobile devices, go ahead and log into those devices with each account that you created separately in the uh, other accounts in the Vera. Now, this is going to pull up the uh, geofencing option that you already did in the first account. So go ahead and log into each device with each separate account credentials. Go to the geofencing section and turn it on, and you should see that geofence appear from the first the first account that we just set up. Now here are some important notes I think you should take note of. Only make geofencing active on one device per account. So if you have, uh, let's say, a mobile device like a phone and a tablet you're walking out the door with, and you have the Vera app installed on both of those, make sure that geofencing is only active on one of those devices. You can log in on both of those devices on the same account, but just make sure one of them has geofencing off and the other one has it on. Also, make sure each geofence user is using their own account on their own device. Make sure they're logged in using only their credentials and not someone else's account. Also, make sure each mobile device is logged into the Vera app and geofencing is on. If you uh, get all those on and working, it should work great for your entire family. Now you're done. 
Now when all of your setup mobile devices leave the geofence, your Vera should go into away mode. Also, when any of your setup mobile devices are at home, your Vera should stay in home mode. Now you can set up scenes to start or devices to automatically do something when you leave and arrive at your home. I use this feature on a daily basis and love it. Please let us know what your experience is with it. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.